Fall is in full swing and Halloween is just around the corner, which means there's so much entertaining to be had. Joining us to share some fall brunch ideas with a spectacular twist is entertaining expert Paul Zahn. Paul, thanks for joining us. Trick or treat? Trick are you or ready? Treats. Are you ready? We are the treats, yeah, right? Yeah, we are the treats. Not the tricks. No tricks here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's brunch time always, yes. but mm -hmm. Halloween season is going to add a spooky twist to it. So what do you got cooking for us today, Paul? I have a spooktacular cocktail to start with, and this is actually an aperitif. So an aperitif, what that's going to do, it's going to open up your palate so you can savor all those delicious candy flavors, those chocolate flavors during Halloween. And we have a wonderful cornucopia spritz right here Ooh. with Liaperitivo Nonino. So this is a delicious aperitif that is made from an infusion of roots, flowers, fruits. It's absolutely delicious. It has a nice floral start to it. And then it's, on the finish, it's a little bit bitter. So okay. this makes a great cornucopia spritz, which includes some Prosecco, some lemon juice, some brown syrup, um, some brown sugar syrup, yeah. and then some Amaro Nonino. So it's the perfect amount of bitter and sweet, and it's a great cocktail to start with. It's made in Italy, and it is going to be a perfect cocktail to start any fall that. brunch. And okay, we so we're going to start with this one. Yes, we're going to so start with starting, this one. Because we want to open up that palate. Open we want to get palette. those flavors, you know, that tongue ready, the yes. everything ready for our delicious next treat, okay. which is a game changer when it comes to brunching. So I have some brand new Skippy peanut butter bites inspired Ooh. by Girl Scout cookie flavor. So we have coconut caramel, chocolate peanut butter, adventure folds. So what this is, is Ooh. it has a nice crunchy center uh -huh. and outside on the coating is that delicious Skippy peanut butter. Oh. So these are perfect on their own, of course, or you could put them in a bowl of oatmeal if you are doing a brunch. You could put That's them a great in, idea. in a Greek yogurt parfait. Mm -hmm. So the flavors are absolutely delicious. You get that crunch and it's all about that nostalgia. Absolutely. Um, so this is a treat. Can this I try treat. one? Please get okay, in there and, and there's try a few, one. And there's a few different flavors here, everybody. Coconut chocolate caramel. Peanut butter, yes. Which one is the chocolate caramel, peanut butter? Coconut caramel. Adventure Falls. The, the this real, one right yes, here. Yes, that one. So, okay. Yes. I'm excited to try these, everybody, strictly because if you know me, I'm a big chocolate girl, but I'm also a big peanut butter gal as well. So let's try this, huh? And I might mm -hmm. put that in my hot cocoa too. Put it in some hot cocoa Ooh. to open up, and then you get that crunch. Mm -hmm. Get the peanut butter. It does butter, have a little crunch in it. Crunch. Yeah. Love it, everybody. So good. Yeah. And you can get those at Target or Walmart. Big fan of these. Okay, so this is a treat. Yes. Once we kind of get going yes. into the brunch, but we have some more treats yes. over here. Yes, we have some delicious charcuterie bites right here with Columbus Craft Meats. So the key to the perfect charcuterie bite is you need meat, you need cheese, you need crunch, and then you need a little acid. And this is the one time it is okay to steal from your children, <laughs> take some of their Halloween candy, and you can put yeah. together the perfect charcuterie bite. So we have some salami, mm -hmm. we have a Kit Kat, a little bite of a Kit Kat, we have a blackberry, we have some Gouda, and that's gonna be the perfect bite. And if you are going to someone's house for a Halloween party, you can mm -hmm. just put together a wonderful little basket here so you can put together a charcuterie yes. board or a charcuterie bite. And something I love about Columbus Craft Meats is they've been creating premium meats for over 150 years. Mm -hmm. And they have a ton of recipes at columbuscraftmeats.com. And I know my friend Evan Anata has been here yes. and taught you the some The Salami Samurai. He's the Salami Samurai. <laughs> so he, he and I hosted an event together a couple years Fun. ago. So we became friends and he's been teaching me all about this with Columbus Craft Meats. He really is the charcuterie master. Okay, but can I take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this real quick. So yes. we have the chocolate we have the cheese and we have the Columbus Craft meat. Yes, and then there's a blackberry in there as well. Okay, and everything and you take like it all that. In? You take that one bite and okay. voila. And you can, all, of course, put it in a fun little skull, a Ooh. skull little glass if you're doing yes. a Halloween party. So that's great too. Yes, hold on, I'm, uh, hold on, everybody. I'm okay. gonna show you all she what I'm is getting. Doing this. All right, let's hold this yes. up to camera to see. We got some Columbus Craft meat salami, some delicious cheese, and the chocolate that's yes. going on. All right, everything, here we go. everything, all in one bite. Here Creamy, we go. Creamy, crunchy, sweet, savory, salty, all of that, and the flavors mm. really meld together, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Melt is the perfect word. Yes. Melts right in your mouth, everybody. It is so good. I didn't think the chocolate would work well with it, but no, it does. No, it does. You got to get mm -hmm. those flavors going. Now that you have something to eat, we have something to wash it down. Mm -hmm. So this is a wonderful better for you soda with some Olipop. So Olipop is all about creating a lower sugar soda that everybody can have. So it is around three to five grams of a sugar per can. It's also got nine grams of fiber in there. And it's got prebiotics wow. and everything to really help your gut health. And the thing I love about Olipop they have some wonderful flavors like this classic grape, which I'm gonna call it a ghoulish grape because <laughs> we are chatting all about Halloween. They I also have that. cream soda. I know you tried the root beer Thank earlier. You. Yes. So these are great for everyone, all ages. They have a tropical, they even have an apple flavor for fall, mm -hmm. lemon, lime, something for everyone. I love Olipop because it's 
healthy. delicious in a better for you option yes. when you're having some soda. I was gonna say, so what's really highlighted about the Olipops, and again, everybody, I have tried the root beer, very delicious. And a lot of people are probably like, well, sometimes the healthier versions don't always taste the same. These are delicious. These do, everybody. Yes. I've never tried the grape, the, what did you call it? The Classic grape, but we're calling it ghoulish grape ghoulish because grape. it, it is go. Halloween. All right, everybody, um, let's, and, let's take a sip then. And I also love the root beer and the cream soda for floats. If you're doing a yes. fun Halloween party, you can do a root beer float, a better for you. Yes, a better beer for you root beer float. Olipop. All right, well, let's yes. give the classic grape or the ghoulish grape a try, everybody. Here we go. Yes, and you can pick this up online at Amazon and stuff like Ooh, that. Ooh, that is so good. It's good, right? Let me take one more sip. Ghoulishly delicious. Mm. There we are with the puns. I love it. I love it. Okay, so this is super delicious and it's a healthy alternative because I know sometimes when it comes to the Halloween season, parents have an issue with a lot of the sugar, 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 which right. I agree. This is kind of a break from that, but it's still the same delicious taste. So mm -hmm. I promise your kids are going to like that. And the prebiotic that's plant-based and yes. all of that, that's going to help your gut. So when you are eating some extra candy and everything like that, you want to get your gut together. So Olipop's got you covered for that, gotta too. Got to keep your gut together, everybody. Yes, all yes. right, so the Olipop is great, but okay. for adults, they probably want a little something stronger. Paul. Yes, with the holiday <laughs> season here and, you know, Halloween here, researchers have found that the espresso martini is the number one holiday cocktail really? out there. Yes. That surprises me. I don't know why. And Absolute makes the perfect espresso martini, but we're doing it a little bit different today. So what we have here is some of the delicious berry Absolute Vodka. Ooh, okay. So this is a brand new flavor. So the berry with a shot of Kahlua. Kahlua is the chocolate, uh, the coffee liqueur that is the only coffee liqueur you need in an espresso martini. Yeah. And then we're doing a shot of espresso. We're shake, we, I shook that up, I poured it in here, and then I grated some dark chocolate over that. So what's Ooh. gonna happen is the berry flavor with the dark chocolate is going to create the perfect flavor profile for a after dinner drink, an anytime drink, a brunch drink. So <laughs> an Absolute Espresso Martini is the perfect closer for any brunch. Or starter. You can either start with this or close. I don't know what. <laughs> but it depends. If you start with that one, you might not make it all the way to the end. Over True. This one. <laughs> or the caffeine could keep you going and going and going. That's you know? very, very true. So to sum all this up, Paul, when, yes. when it comes to the delicious bites, the drinks, the Olipop, yes. really brunch time, what's the best way to have the funnest time here at brunch during the fall season with a little bit of a spooky twist? Uh, my favorite thing is having a brunch that is a Halloween, so making everybody dress up. And, and yes. I like coming up with a theme. Say you're doing like music legends. Have everybody come dressed as a different musician. You could be Britney Spears. I could be Mick Jagger. You know, you totally. set people up for success in their costumes and have them come and you can have them bring something too. So take the yeah. work off of you. And then a fun party game is always wonderful a fun for party game. a Halloween brunch. Yes. Soiree. And that's also a great way to close it. Okay, I have yes. one more question for yeah. you before I let you go. You are our entertaining yes. expert in cocktail connoisseur. Yes. So again, one more time, one tip that you leave for people. That was great when it comes to the brunches, but one tip when it comes to, I'm the one hosting and I feel a little overwhelmed. What's the best tip that you have for people? My number one tip is to prep as much as you can in mm. advance. So if we're doing these perfect charcuterie bites, get little containers and you don't have to break the bank. You can go to the 99 cent store or Marshall's yeah. or something like that. Get little containers, put them out and fill them before people come. Mm -hmm. And that way when people come, just take the tray, put it out, and people can help themselves. The same if we're doing a parfait station yeah. with some Skippy peanut butter bites, you could put out a thing of Greek yogurt and then little dishes and some different accoutrements so people can build the perfect, oh, you know, brunch parfait. So that way it's like a buffet style, but a nice buffet style. Yeah. So you set everything up. You could do a little Olipop stand like this so mm -hmm. people have them chilled, obviously, have people come up and pick their favorite flavor. And you could do like a flight tasting of the yes. Olipops. And better for you. See, this is why I asked you because you literally are the expert. He's planning your next party for you, everybody. <laughs> Take these tips. Paul, thank you so much. This was a blast. We appreciate it. Cheers. Of course.